What's going on guys, Bengalini here coming back at you with another video and today we are rebuilding the Denver Broncos, taking this no-fly zone to the next level. Now, the Broncos, as I record this, are three and six, I believe, so not doing all that well. But they do have a very good team all around. Their defense is one of the best in the NFL, at least from individual players. They have phenomenal ones. On offense, though, it's kind of a different story with an aging Demarius Thomas, uh, a very weak offensive line, and no quarterback. Matt Paradis at center is very good. But uh, aside from that, it's not a tremendous offensive line. So today, hopefully, we can take this Broncos team back to the playoffs, back to the Super Bowl, because they weren't there that long ago. Let's jump right into it. All right, so when taking a look at this team, of course, they did draft Garrett Bowles in the first round of this past year. They got Max Garcia, Matt Paradis, I said, is very good. Ronald Leary, I kind of forgot that he existed for a moment. Alan Barber, a tight end, I think it's A.J. Derby and Virgil Green. Here's Demarius Thomas, who is 29, going to be 30 pretty soon. May look to trade him. Emmanuel Sanders is a 92 overall. He's 30. You got Benny Fowler, the third. Cody Latimer. Let's go ahead and refresh so everyone's there. Carlos Henderson, now in there. Love Carlos Henderson. He was sick at LA Tech. Uh, CJ Anderson is here. So is Jamal Charles, Devontae Booker, Trevor Simeon, Brock Osweiler, and Paxton Lynch. This is such a weird quarterback situation. Defensively, it's a very, very good secondary. Of course, Justin Simmons. Uh, Will Parks? Yeah, Will Parks. Got Darian Stewart, Shaquille Barrett, Shane Ray, Todd Davis, Brandon Marshall, Von Miller. And then in the secondary with the cornerbacks, you have Akeem Tlaib, Bradley Roby, Brennan Langley, Chris Harris Jr. with the defensive line consisting of Demata Pecker Sr. Desmond Bryant has been moved into defensive tackle. He's a former Browns defensive end when they played a 3-4. Derek Wolf, Adam Gotsis. You got Billy Wynn on here. Adam Gotsis, I just said. Jared Crick. And this is totally not a girl's name, Shelby Harris. Let's make some trades. Probably going to be a lot of them. A lot of aging talent on this team. Going to look to get the most for them while we still can. With this trade, I am trading Trevor Simeon, Corey Nelson, and a seventh round pick next year for the number one overall projected pick from the Cleveland Browns. That's my first trade. Still looking to move on from a lot of players. Definitely not Von Miller, but a key to lead more than likely will go. I just can't deal with these 30-year-old uh, players. I just can't do it. In these fantasy-style rebuilds, we need youth because it's not going to take one season, especially without a quarterback. We need to get value for these players while we still can. And we're making Demarcus Lawrence a Bronco once again. Wait. Wait. 12-year-olds in the comments. Demarcus Lawrence never played on the Broncos, but he did. Boise State Broncos. Bringing him back. Former third-round pick to the Cowboys in a free agent year, playing out of his mind. We're bringing him to Denver, Colorado in exchange for Demata Pecco Sr., Darian Stewart, and a third round pick. With this trade, I am trading Aqib Tlaib, Derek Wolf for a one and a two from the Cardinals. I kind of have a new strategy with how I want to make my trades, and if the players I know are for a fact are going to regress significantly, I'm going to trade them away. But if I think they can still be at a high enough overall and have trade value next year where it's easier to trade for players, I'm going to hold on to him. So I'm not making as many trades as I would necessarily like to, but a guy like Jamal Charles, Hook'em Horns, by the way, who I love, he's 30. He's going to go down in overall. He'll be like an 83, 82 overall next year, something in that range. So I know I'm not going to be able to get value for him. So I'd rather trade him while I still can, but I'm going to try to hold on to a lot of these guys. Get XP, potentially upgrade, get their overall up even more, more trade value, and then in a year or two, kind of go balls to the wall. And now we are adding Kevin Byard to the no-fly zone. Desmond Bryant, Shaquille Barrett, and a third-round pick next year are on the way to Tennessee in exchange for the young safety formerly out of mid Middle Tennessee State, Mid-Tennessee State, whatever you want to say. He is now on the team. I thought about playing Will Parks over at strong safety, but I think I'm just going to move Justin Simmons over. I think it's going to work out really, really well. And then I can trade Will Parks while keeping Kevin Byer at free safety. He's such a good young player. And, um, I don't know, I feel like the middle linebackers are fine for right now. I'm not a huge fan of Brandon Marshall. He's kind of declined. He was really sick a few years ago. I don't really want Shelby Harris, but we're going to see how some of these players develop. I thought I traded for a defensive tackle, but I guess I am kind of in need of one. So I might try to make one more move for a defensive tackle. With this trade, I am trading Adam Gotsis and my man Jamal Charles. Had to be done. 
for a third round pick this year and a first rounder next year from the Arizona Cardinals. And I wanted to trade somebody else. I completely forgot who it was. I remembered. With this trade, I'm trading Menelik Watson, the Brock Osweiler, and a fourth round pick this year for Evan Ingram from the New York Giants. Very, very good player. He's been balling out for the Giants so far when no one else is even on the team. So, huge fan of that. No one wants Virgil, Virgil Green at all. So that kind of sucks. With this trade, I am training former first round draft pick Paxton Lynch as well as a fourth round pick next year and a sixth this year for number two, uh, number two, next year, number 38 projected second round pick from the Bears next year. And with this trade, I'm trading Max Garcia and Billy Turner for a first round pick from the Seahawks this year, hoping that that pick has some value. I really doubt that it will, but I've kind of just taken apart this entire offensive line to a degree, and I'm ready to simulate, though. This is the team. Chad Kelly is their starting quarterback, and then defensively, I'm just hoping that enough of these players can get upgraded. Justin Simmons will play strong safety. I want Will Parks to get some XP, but uh, I suppose I will see you guys at the midseason mark. So under Chad Kelly, we are 4-3. and three. The Eagles are 8-0. and oh. We are currently atop the AFC West. That is a little mind-boggling, I must say. There's Vincent Valentine's on the team. Why are you here? I don't know. I don't really mind it, to be fair. Uh, did the CPU sign anybody else of note? Doesn't really appear they did. Oh, we have Blaine Gabbert? No. No, we don't, actually. Let me go, let me go sign a CPU. Uh, not a CPU. Let me go sign a quarterback to back up Chad Kelly, who's a bit worse. Let's take David Fails. Why not? Why not? Demarcus Lawrence is also a free agent. We knew this was going to happen. Impending, I should say. So is Todd Davis. Virgil Green, I really don't have any interest in. And some of these players... Uh, not Virgil, Virgil Green, but Shelby Harris. I plan on re-signing. Even if trade him, I'll pay his, uh, his cap hit. I don't really care. But do need to bring Demarcus Lawrence back. I want him long-term. And he is back. Okay, so Matt Paradis wants more salary... Uh, Todd Davis wants more salary. I got Demarcus Lawrence back, of course. I re-signed Shelby Harris. However, I do plan on trading at least Shelby Harris for a fact. Probably Matt Paradis' run and pass block are actually not good at all, which is kind of a pain. And then Todd Davis, I don't really love the speed. I think we could probably get some better options. I'm not really sure yet, though. A lot of time left to go make those decisions over the course of this next year. But I will see you guys at the playoffs. We might actually make it somehow. Chad Kelly, you got this. We actually made the playoffs. I'm not even sure how I feel about this, because, I mean, obviously, that's what the whole rebuild is for. Go to the playoffs, win, I guess. But I also wanted a higher draft pick, and I don't think we're going to win the Super Bowl. And Chad Kelly is our starting quarterback. It's kind of a weird thing. We'll check out the stats, see who did what. Chad Kelly, 2,000 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, only 5 interceptions. I mean, it's not a, it's a very small sample size. It'd be 22 touchdowns, 6 interceptions over more games. We did have uh, Blaine Gabbert play a lot of them. The CPU signed him. CJ Anderson, not an incredible season. 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns, but poor yards per carry. Also fumbled 3 times. Devontae Booker, 9 touchdowns is very, very good. Manuel Sanders, 79 catches, led the team with 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. Evan Ingram had 8 touchdowns. Carlos Henderson, not a bad season either. Offensive linemen are giving up sacks like it's their job. And I mean, I, I don't really want them to be doing that. Todd Davis led our team in tackles with 149. Brandon Marshall only at 73. Tackles for loss. Uh, solo tackles, that is, by the way. 10 for Shelby Harris, 8 for Ty McGill. Sacks, we have 11.5 from Shelby Harris. He's falling out. 10.5 from Von Miller. 8 from Demarcus Lawrence. Interceptions, we have 5 from Justin Simmons. 2 from Brandon Marshall. 2 for Chris Harris. Forced fumbles, we have two from Shelby Harris. Wow, he is going hard in the paint. No touchdowns. How about awards? Who won MVP? Aaron Rodgers of the 11-5 Packers. I doubt we'll see any Broncos. Maybe we'll get some in here. Offensive Player of the Year uh, goes to Big Ben. Defensive Player of the Year, Demario Davis. There's Todd Davis. And there's Von Miller. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Deshaun Watson. Chad Kelly at 4 Evan Ingram at 8. Defensive Rookie of the Year, TJ Watt. 
No Broncos. Okay. All right, so a division rival here in this wild card round. We're getting advanced straight to the divisional. Did I say divisional? I meant wild. I think I said wild card. Anyway, we lost. That's tough. Playing in Los Angeles. We're just going to simulate straight to the offseason. I really doubt there are going to be any impact free agents, but I suppose there could be. I wish there would be more each year, but generally in the first year, everyone who is a free agent just resigns. So, Atlanta Falcons this time beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. I forgot Todd Davis was not resigned, and uh, neither was Matt Paradis. As you can see, Virgil Green down four overall points. I need to get these guys back. All right, Matt Paradis and Todd Davis. Davis both re-sign. That is cool. And let's advance to free agency. Maybe there'll be some good players here. Doubt it. This is interesting. Drew Brees is here. So is Sharif Floyd. I have interest in Sharif Floyd for sure. Drew Brees, I'm not sure that I do. 39. Just like he'd be good if we wanted to win the Super Bowl next year, which I do. But also, I think... If we can draft a rookie quarterback for the future, that could also be good. What we might do is sign Drew Brees. Well, we'll make him an offer at least for one year. Not a whole ton of cap room. And then sign a quarter, or excuse me, draft a quarterback potentially, play him under Drew Brees, and then he'll take over the reins once Drew Brees retires. So Sharif Floyd declined, and I had a big offer on him. Drew Brees accepted. He is our new starting quarterback. Very interesting. In the draft, we have the number one overall pick as well as a fifth. I think two more. We have the 22nd and 23rd in the first round. I am not taking this number one overall pick. It's kind of a weak draft class, which is unfortunate. So it looks like we're going to be in need of a quarterback next year, which is unfortunate again. What can we do now, though? Who can we trade? Emmanuel Sanders is gone. Bradley Roby is gone. The number one overall pick is gone. DeForest Buckner is coming to Denver, okay? We're also getting a fifth this year and a three next year. I know it seems kind of like a one-sided trade. DeForest Buckner is extremely, extremely young, extremely talented. Bradley Roby is not in my future plans. Neither is a 31-year-old Emmanuel Sanders, who has uh, already dropped off by two overall points that we started this. And I think we're getting pretty good value here, even though we're giving up that number one overall pick. This is a weak, weak draft class, in my opinion. All right, so now I've gone and traded away Demarius Thomas, Brandon Marshall, and a fifth next year. We're getting Juju Smith-Schuster and a third. Now, a lot of these mid-round picks that I'm getting are going to be extremely valuable to me because I see very talented offensive linemen in those mid-round uh, areas. And I think Juju is a very good receiver up and coming in the NFL, especially overall-wise. Demarius Thomas, again, I know he's better right now. It's about overall, but it's also about age. It's about regression. I had to go out and make a move. Uh, I'm not going to wait for them to just deteriorate as far down as possible. We have to make moves. I know it seems ridiculous. I'm trading the, like some of the highest rated players on our team, but it makes the most sense over the next year. All right, with this trade, I am trading two first round picks, including my number five overall and Ronald Leary for one of the best wide receivers in the NFL in DeAndre Hopkins. That's the kind of big market trade I wanted to make. Now let's go ahead and advance to our next pick, which is at 23. I think. But again, like really, really disappointing draft class. I was, was pretty upset. With this trade, I'm trading a 1, a 2, and a Chad Kelly for AJ Boye from the Jacksonville Jaguars, separating that amazing cornerback duo of he and Jalen Ramsey. But now, Chris Harris Jr. gets another very good cornerback tandem. With this pick, I'm going to be taking Antoine Bass. It's a second round pick for, well, we're going to call him Antoine Bass. Easier. Very good top three skills for a power back. He's also extremely quick for a power back. Good vertical, good broad jump, very strong. 4'4", four, 6'40". Four, I have high hopes for him. Okay. So, okay, he doesn't fit our scheme, so his overall looks very bad. It's 68 overall. He's ranked at number 60. We take him at 54. I want him to be a backup. He's got 89 speed, 90 trucking, 92 stiff arm. He's a very, very good player. It's just because our running back scheme is not for a power back, so he looks awful. He's far better than that overall would show, as you can see by his rank. I'm not mad at that pick one bit. With this pick, I'm going to be taking Bryant Archibald. It's a third round pick. He's supposed to go in the fourth round. He's out of Indiana. Good top three skills. Not a tremendous combine, not that fast or strong, but those top three skills are good enough where I would 
take a, uh, take a reach, if you will, on a player like this. And here he is, excellent pick. Number 16 in the draft, quick development as well. 85 strength, 87 run block, 77 pass block, and 88 impact blocking. Tremendous, tremendous player. I didn't think that pick would be anywhere near what it ended up being. I am quite pleased, to say the least. And now I'm going back with another tackle. He looks a bit better in terms of combine, faster, stronger. Top three skills are not quite as good, but they're not bad by any means. They're, they're still very good for a fourth round player. We're taking him here late in the third. 73 overall, it's an excellent pick. He's ranked number 33. We took him at 93, 88 strength, 77 run block, 84 pass block, 87 impact blocking. Uh, another very good player. We'll see where all these guys fit on our team. Sometimes you just gotta take quantity and hope you get quality. I feel like that's a pretty good strategy for drafting offensive linemen in these mid-rounds. They're usually very good. With this pick, I'm gonna be taking what I think is one of the better players in this entire draft. Will he be top, you know, 32? Is he a first round guy? I'm not sure. His top three skills are amazing. His combine was very, very good for a center. I want him on the team. Here he is. Oh my goodness. It doesn't even matter if he's top 32 or not. He's ranked at number 49. We took him at 118, 86 strength, 84 run block, 81 pass block with 89 impact blocking, but most importantly, superstar development. See you later, Matt Paradis. I don't need you. I love, I love drafting these sick offensive linemen. They don't let me down. They don't. With this pick, I'm taking a sixth round projected player. He's very similar into, uh, to the guy that had quick development. He drafted two rounds ago. DJ Mooton out of Stanford. Or Moton. I think it's probably pronounced. We're just going to say that. Moton. Not strong. That's that's the knock on him. Good top three skills, though. Excellent pick again, rank number 55. We took him at 130. 75 overall, normal development. Not incredible, but good run block, good impact blocking. You'd like that strength or pass block to be higher. But, I mean, you can't get absolutely sick players here in the fifth round. So I'm, I'm okay with that pick. There we go. Another fifth rounder. Let's make it count. I'm going to be taking Malcolm Hartz out of SC State. Great run block, great impact block. The pass block is bad. I'm aware of that. He's extremely strong. That's what I want. Here he is. 79 overall, ranked number 14 in the draft. We took him at 150. We boost that awareness. We boost that pass block. He's, you know, immediately one of the better players in the NFL. 89 run block coming out. That's an incredible player. This offensive line has been completely overhauled. The one player left is Jimmy Leach for me. Out of West Virginia, he's a Mountaineer. He's got decent top three skills, supposed to go undrafted. I'm taking him in the seventh. 68 overall, um, you know, decent speed, good throw on the run, good medium accuracy, not awful short, good throw power. Awareness and deep accuracy are terrible, though. Awareness doesn't matter. He's not awful. He really isn't. If he can get some kind of XP during this season when we have Drew Brees, he could be a decent player. Not sure he'll ever see the field really, or start ever, but very, very good draft overall. I'm extremely happy with it. We addressed our t terrible offensive line. No 80 overalls, but all very, very close. All players that help us out. As you can see, all offensive line pretty much in this draft. As you can see, by the way, Antoine Bass, when I changed the scheme to power running back, uh, he's a 74 overall, so that's, that's not a bad backup. With this trade, I am trading Matt Paradis, Garrett Bowles, and a third round pick for Reuben Foster from the San Francisco 49ers. I tried to bring him over when I brought over DeForest Buckner. Could not do that, do that, do it. But we're trading away two of our starting offensive linemen. We're going to go all rookies on that offensive line. And uh, Reuben Foster is going to be a tremendous addition to our team. I'm going to shake things up in that defense. And Reuben Foster is the first piece. With this trade, I'm trading Shane Ray and Shelby Harris, as well as a second round pick, for Chris Jones from the Kansas City Chiefs. He's going to be a very good addition to our team. I'm going to play him inside a defensive tackle. I'm switching to a 4-3, if you could not tell. And uh, now I just need, I want to say, another outside linebacker. Good cover guy. Yeah, I do. And now a 1-2 two next year. And Demarcus Walker is going to get me Jared Davis from the Lions. He will play outside linebacker. I'm going to move this entire team around, and uh, we're going to get better results. With this trade, I'm trading Will Park straight up for Joe Batonio, who I plan on trading somewhere else. Trade bait. And the reason Joe Batonio is an 89 overall is he came with 18,000 XP, or maybe it was 8,000. I don't know. It was something like that. I upgraded him plus three overall, so he's an 89 now. Devontae Booker, 
and a first round pick for Le'Veon Bell from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Huge things now. We can trade CJ Anderson maybe for a first rounder. I also signed Kristen Michael in free agency. I don't know why. But CJ Anderson's got to go. What do I need here? Offensive line, I'm fine with. I need a cornerback, maybe? Go for a corner. And with this trade, CJ Anderson, Kristen Michael, and a fourth for a first round pick from the Browns. And I think we're about ready to go here for season number two under Drew Brees. Kind of forgot that that happened. I can upgrade our players, actually. Hold the phone. This is the fully upgraded team looking, I would say, very good overall. Offensive line looks weak. It's going to be a lot better in a season. I can guarantee you that much. Receiving core looks weak. Juju's going to get upgraded. Carlos Henderson's going to get upgraded. And then defensively, it's a, it was a rebuilding year. Defensive line is insane. I think the secondary also, you could argue, is insane. Linebacking core has got a little way to go. But we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark. See how we're doing. We are 6-1 at the midseason mark, and I would kind of expect nothing less under Drew Brees. He's our guy. He's a 91 overall, 93 overall quarterback. He's so, so good. Is that AJ Derby? Who is that? It's Jeff Towerman. Okay. No relevant free agents whatsoever. So I guess all we have left is scouting and, and winning the Super Bowl in year two? I think so. All right, so we have a first round bye. That's a good start. 12 and four is what we ended up going. Drew Brees, 4,374 yards, 42 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions rushing. Le'Veon Bell was a beast. <laughs> Nearly 1,600 yards, five touchdowns. D'Angelo Henderson, 12 touchdowns. Where is... Bass didn't get the carries I wanted. He got a touchdown anyway. Receiving, DeAndre Hopkins, 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns. Carlos Henderson, 13 touchdowns on, what is that, 12 fewer yards than DeAndre Hopkins had? That's crazy. Juju had a good season. Evan Ingram had a good season as well. Blocking, offensive line played, I would say, fairly well. Above my expectations, defensively, Jared Davis led our team in tackles with 121. Ruben Foster at 119. Tackles for loss, 10 from Chris Jones. But look at sacks. 16.5 from Von Miller, 14.5 from Demarcus Lawrence, 11 from Chris Jones, and 5 from DeForest Buckner. Interceptions, 5 from Chris Harris Jr., 3 from Byard, 2 from Foster, 2 from Langley. We need a better nickel cornerback, though. Forced fumbles, 3 from Chris Jones. Fumble recoveries, 2 from a handful of players. Any defensive touchdowns? 1 from Kevin Byard. There we go. Let's check out yearly awards. Aaron Rodgers wins MVP. Drew Brees at number 2. Interesting. Any other Broncos? No Le'Veon? Offensive Player of the Year goes to Drew Brees. No Le'Veon. Defensive Player of the Year, Kevin Minter. There's Von Miller. There's Jared Davis. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Nolan Brodeen for the Browns. Bensley Savage. Who is this? Who are the Browns drafting? Antoine Bass at 6. Jimmy Leach at 7. He didn't even play. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Miles Poole. Damn, Dunquell Ellison's a high S overall. No Broncos. I don't remember even drafting anyone, so... Yeah, good season. Martinez King even made the Pro Bowl. Ton of XP plus quick development. Looks like Hearts also made the Pro Bowl. Yep. And you can't get better than normal development. Why would you? Oh, another player that made the Pro Bowl? Carlos Henderson. Wish he got quick development. He didn't, though. Interesting. Defensively, any standout XP performances? Uh, doesn't appear that there are any. Is this not the best-looking team you've ever seen? All right, it's not, but that's a really, really good offensive line. I made the right call. Some of these guys are insane. Carlos Henderson's up to an 85. I mean, team's looking pretty good offensively. And then defensively, the defensive line is amazing. Cornerbacks, amazing. Safeties, very, very good. Linebacking core, we're getting there. Specialists, if you care. Uh, we're getting there. We're okay. Who's in the divisional? Who has the privilege of getting rocked? The Baltimore Ravens ain't nothing but a thing. Moving on to the conference championship. Don't... Are you... Man. What is this, 2012? Seeing the offseason. This is a joke. We got 64 mil. Who's a free agent? Who wants to win a championship? Shazier? Ooh, that's tempting. Fucking... Yeah, it is. Get on the team, boy. Man, you don't even know, want to know how much I want to win a championship, and Ryan Shazier wants nothing to do with it. 
I get somebody else. We got Devontae Parker. We got Trevor Williams. That's a good another receiver added to the core. Juju's a beast. He's an 84. We got the best four receivers in the NFL. Okay, they're not the best four, but they're the best group of four. Defensively, look at our cornerbacks now. Trevor Williams is a stud. Brennan Langley at four. We're, we're golden. Defensive line, amazing. Todd Davis is off the team. I don't, I can't deal with Todd Davis anymore, man. I need somebody else. The Broncos are not rebuilding. They are reloading going to the next season. Well, fucking chick chick, motherfucker. See in the draft. We're winning. We're winning the draft. That's a thing now. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> uh, not bad. Hey! <sighs> I draft another one. Idiot. I didn't need one. I had one. I had two. I had three. And a draft. I don't want to be here. I don't. Okay, Drew Brees retired. It's actually... What we've done here is not a terrible thing. It's not terrible. We have the team around Denton to perform. I gotta tell you, though. Moten? DJ Moten? He's not doing it for me. He's traded. He's off the team. I need somebody better. I need a playmaker at right guard. Yeah, I need a playmaker. We're going to get one. So you're telling me, and this is the first time I even used a trade block, the Cowboys drafted a player named Dallas. Dallas Farquhar, a.k.a. Lord Farquhar, Farquhar, whatever. And they're trying to trade him? He's on the trade block? What are, what are you doing? I don't know why I'm trying to try. I don't need him. What, what am I doing here? And Tredavious White's at 99 overall. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So DJ Moten plays center now, which is cool. I changed that. And we are about to acquire Forrest Lamp. Very good offensive lineman. Hasn't played yet in the NFL. But in the game, he's a beast. Also, I liked him at Western Kentucky. Watched his tape. He was solid. Who knows what he'll do in the NFL. All right, this is the team for season number three. It will be a Super Bowl year with a rookie quarterback. Why the fuck is Todd Davis still looking at me in the mouth? We're trading him. So I noticed that Desmond King was on the trade block for the Chargers. A 5, 6, and a 7 is going to get him on my team. And then I'm going to try to trade that. Okay, didn't expect that to go through. Desmond King, a future 1 and a future 2 for BWAGS 54. Bobby Wagner's down on the team. Where do we play him? Probably middle linebacker. Jared Davis slides over to left. Ruben Foster takes over the right outside linebacker duties. I'm in. And with this trade, I'm trading Todd Davis, Jared Davis, and a third-round pick. Move Jared Davis back to middle linebacker. Todd Davis back to right outside linebacker. Or, no, to right outside linebacker. For this 49ers, I believe, rookie, maybe he's a second-year player. Actually, he's definitely a second-year player. But he was drafted, um, he might have superstar. He does have superstar. He's kind of a beast. Uh, he doesn't fit the scheme really well. He is good, though. I should have looked. Oh, he'll, he'll do fine. He's our guy there. All right, this is the team, though. You've seen the defense. You've seen the offense. Now you're going to get prepared to see the record undefeated at the midseason mark with a rookie quarterback who's not even 80 overall. Take notes. Whoops, 6-2. Uh, and two. Not undefeated, clearly. That's tough. We got some coach XP, though. I'll spend that on uh, quarterback training boost. We got that going on, like Stacy's mom. Currently in the lead in the AFC West. Raiders have seen better days. I'm going to use this XP, and then we're going to make the playoffs. We're going to go 13-3. and three. We're going to win the Super Bowl. I have, I have this planned out. Trust me, I do. All right, approaching week 17 very quickly. And here we are. Bobby Wagner, AFC Defensive MVP. That's a good start. Defensive Player of the Year. Boom. 13-3. Called it. Easy money out here. Lucas Denton as a rookie. Threw a lot of interceptions. 4,100 yards, 38 TDs, 21 interceptions. Need to get those numbers down. Le'Veon Bell had a pretty sick season. <laughs> 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns. Average nearly five on the ground. D'Angelo Henderson can't be the guy. He keeps fumbling. Why is he... He's not better than Antoine Bass. He can't be. 
He's not. Why? Okay. Receiving. Devontae Parker led our team in catches, not yards, though, and not touchdowns. De uh, excuse me, DeAndre Hopkins had nearly 1,300 yards, about 1,250, a little over. 86 catches, 9 touchdowns. Evan Ingram, double-digit touchdowns with 11. Carlos Henderson, one yard short of 700 and 7 touchdowns. Quarterback sacks, not a whole ton allowed. Defensively, though, Bobby Wagner led our team in tackles with 117. Tackles for loss, 17 from Chris Jones. Quarterback sacks, 14.5 from Von Miller, 13 from Demarcus Lawrence, 11.5 from DeForest Buckner, 4.5 from Chris Jones. Interceptions, 6 from A.J. Boye, 4 from B. Wags, 4 from Ruben Foster, 3 from Chris Harris, Justin Simmons, and Kevin Byard. Force fumbles, how do we do? Uh, not too many, it doesn't really matter. We'll check out defensive touchdowns. I saw a safety too. Kevin Byard got another touchdown, and the safety goes to DeForest Buckner. Awards. Russell Wilson wins MVP. Are we anywhere in here? We are. Lucas Dent at 8. Not bad. AFC Office Player of the Year, Leonard Fournette. He's a good player. Tried to trade for him, fun fact. Le'Veon Bell at number 4. Lucas Denton at 7. That's surely uh, Rookie of the Year. Bobby Wagner wins Defensive Player of the Year. Any other Broncos? Von Miller at 10. Offensive Rookie of the Year, obviously, goes to Lucas Denton. Tate Keltner at 10. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, no Broncos. Should have a lot of XP, though. 37k, not bad. A bunch on this offensive line. Wish Archibald had it, had more, but he doesn't, unfortunately. Defensively, um, no one with that much. I guess 23k is kind of a lot for Justin Simmons. Let's go ahead and use some of this XP, upgrade this team, and win the Super Bowl. This is the fully upgraded team. Look at these offensive linemen we drafted. 97, 96, and 95 overall, respectively. And of course, there's Forrest Lamp. And Archibald, it's not bad either. He's just progressing at a fairly average rate. His stats are very good. It's all about awareness that needs to go up for him. Receiving core is awesome. Lucas Denton's already up to an 88 overall. And then defensively, we are very solid. Very solid indeed. Here we go, though. I, I said we're going to win the Super Bowl. I said we were going to. We're going to the Divisional. We're playing the Steelers. No can do, Steelers. Got to roll right through you. With a rookie quarterback, and we do, and it's the Ravens. Now it's really 2012. Ravens, Broncos, AFC Championship to make the Super Bowl. Full confidence. Bringo. Playing the Saints in the Super Bowl. The 11-5 Saints against the 13-3 Denver Broncos. I probably have some XPDs. We're 96 overall. It's an absolutely beastly team. It always is. Let's be honest. All right, here we go. Did that do anything? It did not. Broncos, Saints... Super Bowl 50-something rookie quarterback in the Super Bowl. Here we go. My game freeze? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Jesus, fuck. You guys hear my Xbox? This thing is actually going to explode. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right, finally we're in this game. I felt like it took about 20 minutes to load. It takes shorter, in all actuality, it takes shorter to simulate to the end of a season, all things considered, than it takes to simulate to the Super Bowl. Or play, load into a game is what I meant to say. But things are very close early on. 14-10 lead for the Saints as we come back with a field goal. Seattle 17, or not Seattle, New Orleans 17, now 16 in the third quarter. Can we score again? 19-17 is your score. 26-17. Please close it out. 29-17. New Orleans has an answer. And we are in overtime. Okay, I'm jumping in. And we have no players. Cool. Love that. Well, uh, I do like jumping into games here. It's always a pleasure. This game isn't broken. You think it might be? Nah, not. Strategy. We told the players stay off the field. They'll take a delay a game. It'll be third and six now. It's called smart head coaching. Take a note, Sean Payton, you idiot. Oh, it's picked off. It's Trevor Williams. Oh my goodness, Trevor Williams could go. He's not going to, though. That's his second interception of the game. 
Can you do you say Super Bowl MVP already? You might. Oh, my rookie quarterback is a lefty. What in tarnation? We're just gonna run with him. Okay, it's Tebow time here in Denver. Even though that's not where we're playing, we're in Miami, I think. Oh, taking off playmaker. It's Tebow time. Hell yeah. All right, fourth and inches. We're going to go for the field goal here. And they're going to ice me? Should have seen that coming. Can we kick an ice field goal? Oh, shit. Okay. Yes. Yes. Did I make it? I'm so bad at field goals. That looks like it's straight through the uprights. And it is. The Denver Broncos are back on top. Super Bowl champions once again. Peyton Manning. John Elway. I don't know why I went in that order. And now, Lucas Denton, a.k.a. Tim Tebow in disguise, have led the Broncos all to Super Bowl titles. Question is now, who is the Super Bowl MVP? I kind of hope it's Trevor Williams. I think defense wins championships in a lot of, a lot of instances. Two interceptions in the Super Bowl, including the one to set up the game-winning field goal? Surely, that is worthy of consideration. We shall see, however. Is he going to pop up? No? Is it not? Is it... What? Alright, that's the game. And that's the video, I guess. Take it easy.